What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat, and we are here at the Nerd Castle with the next episode of Darkwood, where something is definitely trying to break into our house right now up in the north. It's trying to bust through the barricade. So what happened is essentially the game is really, really buggy at the moment, and so I already started to record this episode, and the reason you need to know that... Oh, Christ! What the hell is that? Jesus. You know, it would help if you could see anything in this game. Like, that would be the one thing. I, the game is too dark. It's just entirely too dark. It's... Like, I understand trying to make the game creepy or whatever, but this game is super, super dark. Now, I got an ability that says I know how to open my third eye now. I don't know exactly what that means, and that's precisely why I decided to play with permadeath off. Is because a lot of the deaths are like bullshit. It's just something running up on you and smacking you in the face, and there's nothing you can do about it. Because you're blind and you can't see. I also realized we could store stuff in this right here. And until they get that fixed, I don't know, they just need to make the game a little bit brighter so that you can at least see something. Night vision is not that bad. I don't know where everybody in the gaming industry got the idea that human night vision is terrible. It is not. As somebody that spends loads and loads of time out in the wilderness doing camping and all kinds of stuff without light sources. I camp in tents and things. I don't use like RVs. That's wuss mode. I use like tents and all kinds of stuff when I camp. Without a light source. What the hell is that? I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. It's like a giant death tick. This was not here before. I think we can all agree that this was not here. Additionally, our map has changed. Like, your house... I don't know. The game is really buggy right now, and I didn't finish what I was talking about previously. So today we were going to go to the southeast, and we were going to find the wolfman to see if we could get our lives cleaned up a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, there's a doggy. And so we'll take his meat. He was going to attack me either way. It'll work out okay. And if we can find the wolfman, I think we'll be in a lot better shape because we can barter for some of the things that we need. We've got full health because we died right at the beginning of the episode, so that's not that big of a deal. Got another mushroom. I took an ability called Opens Your Third Eye. I have no clue how to use it. I'll probably investigate in just a moment how to use it. Is that a bunny? It's like a plagued bunny. Can I murder it? Oh, I can. Odd meat. Okay. That seems alright. I have no clue where we're going to find the wolfman at. Hopefully he's down here somewhere. Typically it will ping eventually if we actually find him. If not, then I suppose we'll just wander until we die of exhaustion or something. The enemies do appear as though they're getting a little bit thicker as time goes along. That dog is wagging, but I'm not so convinced that he doesn't want to murder me. I've got to figure out how to use our third eye ability. So I leveled up and the game crashed when I leveled up. I was recording, but it just went and it went kaputski while I was the giant hole. Ow. Oh, the corpse was explosive. Damn it. Make an antidote. Quick. There we go. We're immune to poison. So can we still loot the corpse even though it just exploded all over us? We've got little corpse chunks on us. I've got pieces of Ted on me. Dear God. The giant hole is looking to not be so incredibly useful. It reminds me of a scar I used to have on my forehead. I used to have a giant scar and if you look at it from the right angle now I still have like a big dent in my forehead. I got hit in the face with a door when I was younger. I was holding the door shut and somebody kicked it in and it hit me in the face. But I had like this big crescent moon thing on my forehead for like, I don't know, probably a couple years after that. I don't have any more poi- I don't have any mushroom. Eh. Okay, good. So we've got mushrooms. I'm probably going to turn a lot of our mushrooms into antidotes from now on. I also wish that- let's see here. So... That's the giant hole. Let's go back to the giant hole and we'll use that as a navigation point, I guess. I've got to make sure that we're navigating completely and totally by landmarks because I've really got this problem with running out and just exploring randomly. And so we need to find landmarks and just move in cardinal directions from those landmarks until we find things so that we can get a feel for where they're at. Apparently I'm getting my stick on right now. Stepped on a stick, not too interested in stealth. Stick, stealth, stuck, whatever. Not a big deal. Ooh. Hell. Oh, it's still alive, dude. Damn. Usually they die with one hit. I'm not sure what's going on with that one. Grab those mushrooms, though, because we can make some more antidotes. We've already got one, so if we end up getting poison, we can make an antidote out of it. But what I'm hoping for is that we'll find the, 
The Wolfman's cabin around here somewhere. Is that a big... What is that? I thought that kind of looked like a hut for a second. Okay, it is definitely not a hut. Got more squirmy masses on... Oh. Damn it. You better back off, doggy. You know how many of your friends I've killed? I've killed a lot. That is an understatement. I think I'm on like seven or eight dogs right now. I'm opening up packs like a magic player. You don't even know. I think... Uh, it's sort of hard to tell how far to the southeast I'm supposed to go to find this guy. He's got to be here somewhere with his little shop of wonders. And we do need to buy some stuff. We need, like, healing items. We need all kinds of things in order to make this work properly. Maybe because I was out of energy when I smacked him. Nope. What the hell is that? Did you see it? It was right there. It's like the same thing that killed me earlier. Nothing on the corpse. I am going to search these mushrooms. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just searching these mushrooms. Sounds like something a shady cop would say. <laughs> Sir, I'm going to need to investigate those mushrooms. <laughs> oh, God. Well, Wolfman does not appear to be anywhere accessible. I hope that the gamma changes. I went in between episodes and I moved the gamma around, and I'm hoping that that helps you all out a little bit. I know some people said that the game was really dark and they were having trouble seeing, and so I tried to brighten it up slightly, and then in post-production I tried to brighten it up as well, but, you know, I can only do so much for it. The game is just naturally very, very dark and hard to see in. This is the world's darkest, mistiest forest, although the forests are pretty dark. I stayed up in the redwoods for a little while. Oh, that's like a bigger version of a dog. That one's way larger than like the, oh, it's a wolf maybe or something, I don't know. Like the worst thing that could have happened right there is that I got poisoned right before I had to deal with that dog. That would have been awful. So I guess there's little dogs and then there's bigger ones, but that one is a lot bigger than the last one we fought with. I'm not really so positive. Damn, like where is this dude? It's another bunny. I suppose we might as well murder it because we don't know if the strange... Oh, it fell through the world, did it? No, okay. We don't know if the strange meat's going to be valuable. It doesn't stack. God. No. There's so many dogs out here. It's like the inner city in the 1980s. There's like dogs running around everywhere, like ripping open trash cans. I mean, Jesus, why are there so many dogs around? We've already searched this. Was this to... I think that crate was like to the... Yeah, there's our house. Right? Damn. Okay, so we're back at our house. I'm going to store the mushrooms except for like one and we're going to make a potion out of that one. There's plenty. It's fine. <sighs> he said he was to the southeast, right? Let me check my journal one more time. No, that's not what I wanted. The J key is not the tab key. There we go. My skills. Oh, never mind. It undid my level up. Okay, so it leveled me, but I didn't get a new ability. That sucks. So as I said, the game is really buggy right now. It crashed while I was leveling up, and so now I have the level, but it didn't give me the skill that I selected. How lame is that? What are you going to do, though? Early access. The joys of early access. Let's see here. Southeast from my hideout. It looks like he knows... I went southeast, and I am not so convinced. We went really, really southeast. I mean, I guess we'll give it another go just to see, but I'm not too keen on spending entire episodes just wandering through the darkness trying to figure out where this dude's shop is at. I've already searched this wood pile. Oh, I'm exhausted because I can't run. That's right. Okay, well, more nails and more boards. We can seal up our house again. More shrooms, too. There's 
There's like so much random stuff around here in this game. Doggy over there. More mushrooms. Luckily not of the explosive variety. The hell is he at? So we have a choice. I'm gonna dump the meat right here. I take the Molotov because it might be useful. Well, I don't really... I think the main problem with this game is that the navigation system is just terrible. And, like, and I get what they're trying to do with it, but... I've heard a couple other people say that it's just not fun wandering around in the darkness non-stop. And I think I would agree with that statement. I'm not going to pick up those mushrooms right now. Like, wandering around in the dark, looking for, like, that thing you need to find. Eh. God, there's so much loot that... What the hell is... Oh. It's like a caveman. Ow, with rocks. Wow, we killed each other. Great. This item is no longer usable. I need to repair it. And then I dropped my odd meat. So I guess it breaks your weapon if you're not on permadeath mode. But it appears as though we have like a very serious problem in front of us. The game is just kind of wandering and meandering. It took us to day five, so at least we skipped the boring nighttime period where you just sit there and wait for something to eat you because there's nothing you can do about it. I'm just going to store all this stuff up until we lost our mushroom until we get to the point where we find the wolf man I mean that's all I can do I'm gonna grab a weapon out of here all we have is a nail board I think probably avoiding enemies is our best plan I don't think that that guy with the stones was actually killable unless we have a ranged weapon without taking considerable damage to yourself let's go ahead and have a look here I don't know where these holes are coming from, but... I've got those giant buggy things in them. I don't know, the game has a lot of problems right now. That's what I'm realizing as we're sort of running through. Is that there's a lot of things that just plain flat out don't work properly. For example, the crash during the level up is a big deal. That's I'm missing an ability now, even though I'm higher level. And so if the game uses any form of scaling, we are now not prepared for whatever is coming. I'm just going to still, I think we're just going to keep trying to find the Wolfman's house for the remainder of this episode. I just, I think that's really what we need to do. It says to the southeast, but I don't know if it's lying to me or not. I mean, judging by some of the bugs that I've seen so far, it wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so here's the scar. Let's go to the edge of the map. This way, because from how I understand it, locations can spawn anywhere in this game. And so, southeast could be, it could favor more east than south, and I've been trying to keep it very much sort of a 135 degree angle, I guess, and that might not be possible. Oh, wow, there's bugs crawling in and out of the holes. That'll get your trypophobia going. Oh, what the hell are you supposed to be? Dear God. Lame. Alright, and so now we are super dead. I think we need to come up with a way to like, get, I don't know, we need weapons or something, but I just can't seem to find anything. Without weapons like readily available or like things to fix your weapons, I think they should probably get rid of the durability on like an axe, for example. Like, let's take an axe. Like, how often do you break an axe in real life? Not very often. Like, it's a giant hunk of metal on a stick. It's not going to break after you hit a guy, like, three times with it. A bear trap? Can I disarm it, or is it going to hurt me? Let's find out. Ooh, we got it. Okay. We lost all those mushrooms, didn't we? Yep, they took all our XP from us.
game definitely needs more stamina. I don't know. It's just a pet peeve of mine. I can't stand it when video game characters can't run because I am a runner. And it's just like, okay, I cannot relate to this in any fashion. I'd be running all over this map. I think when we get too far out, we're going to start getting enemies we can't handle. But then again, now that it's teleporting us by days, the game is supposedly gets worse as the game goes on and on and on. So as a punishment for dying, advancing the days really isn't doing you too many favors. It's hurting you quite badly. Okay, at least now I can make an antidote if I need to. I don't even think I'm... Oh, what the hell? I guess there was like a bear trap or something on the ground? I don't know. Another dead guy. And I know we're not southeast anymore. We're kind of southish at this point. We found rocks. I kind of feel like we found a lot of rocks this far. Oh, hell, cavemen. I can't tell. Like, some of the cavemen have these big stick things, and they try and hit you with them. They're like these big, sort of, I don't know, like a gaffer's hook. And then some of them just throw stones at you, as we saw earlier. Okay, so we got dogs over there. We got another writhing mass over here. There's obviously a dog on our right. At least that's what my directional sound is telling me. I think that's the blood that we walked by just a minute ago on our way away from our house. Yeah, if I'm correct, there will be this right here. So yeah, I have I have no clue where the wolfman is at. I seriously could not tell you. It says that he's to the southeast, but we've cleared this entire area. And if you go, if you go any further, you get murdered. So, I mean, I, I'll make sure one more time that it didn't say he was to the southwest. Oh, I have no skills now. Maybe you lose a skill every time you die or something. I don't know. We have no skills anymore. That would explain why dogs are so grumpy with us. Yeah, it says that he should not be far southeast from my hideout. I, I We're going to have to look around. I mean, I may... We're fixing to run out of time right now. So do I have to start leveling up over again then? Let me take a look at my my dosage thing. I mean, the mushrooms do seem to regrow, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, you do. You start over. Okay, so I didn't lose a skill, as I said earlier in the episode. When you die, you lose a skill. It just doesn't say anything. So maybe they should do, like, a little splash screen or something that says you have lost a skill if you're not playing on permadeath. Well, that lends a little bit of pain to playing the game, then. I'm glad that there's some punishment for dying. I mean, you take durability damage already. We definitely need to get our skills back, though. Let's go out one more time, but every time we go out, it seems to be a risky venture. Part of me is pondering that maybe we can cook that meat that we get from the rabbits, but he's gone now. I don't see him. I was going to get my Elmer foot on and kill the wabbit, but he's gone. The joys of wabbit hunting. And it said not far, is the other part. So maybe I'm just overshooting it or something, I don't know. Maybe I'm going around it the entire time. Maybe I'm just going way too far out. A couple more logs, so that we can board up the house if we have to.
Ah, there we go. We finally found it. So I'm going to break the episode off right here. I think we're just about done. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Darkwood. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody. And as always, hi do.